Hey everybody, still back again. Defish May 76. Uh, it's May 10th. The temperature is, well, according to my truck, 47 degrees. We didn't get any frost last night, but we got pretty close to it. So we dodged a bullet on uh, on our plants and stuff getting frosted on last night, killing them. So, but I do have a swim call going on. The lady found them yesterday afternoon, and uh, she sent me a message this morning saying that they were still there. So. You know these poor bees is freezing. They're about 10 foot up in a tree. So we got our ladder and all we need to uh, go get them. So uh, stick around, let's go get a swarm out of a tree. expecting them to be they were actually on the side of the tree but you've seen that in the video so uh, we got them riding shotgun they're probably gonna warm up on the way home which will be fine uh, hopefully by the time I get them home it'll be warmed on up it's only still only 49 degrees uh, I wish all swarm removals was that easy <clears throat> but we got them in the bee back we're gonna go home uh, I'm gonna stop get I uh, hope a little extra Mother's Day surprise on the way home All right, so we got everything set up. What I've got in here now is just a single frame of a drawn out comb that looks like crap. Uh, but the reason why I'm giving this to her, so when I do let her out of the cage, once I find her, uh, she'll be able to start laying right away. I got to thinking while I go, the best time to uh, use your wax found or your uh, your stuff that's not drawn out yet is with a swarm, so why not go ahead and let them do what they need to do? They'll definitely fill it out better than anybody else will. I need to get this propolis off the side of this hive or off this frame because it's built up. I don't have my hive tool here with me, but might as well clean it up while you got it out, right? When I did a video, I made the comment how I, the only issue I ever had with this uh, BVAC was the uh, was the lid or the inner lid. And about four days later, he sent me a new one. Uh, he's always improving his uh, stuff. So if you ever have, if you get one of these high or one of these BVACs, and I do strongly recommend them. Uh, if you ever have any issues with him, just let him know. He's real good at uh, getting back with you about it. As you can see. This was a pretty good sized swarm. As you can see. 
We're going to buff them down in the bottom of a V-back, just like you would a package. We're going to dump them in. Seen the queen. Mm -hmm. She's right in here somewhere. If I can go ahead and cage her. A whole lot better off. Where you at, baby? She might have went around on the back side of the frame. She's dark. It's amazing how quick they disappear. And all I'm doing is bumping them to make them move. I know I've seen her. Mm -hmm. She might have got knocked down in the bottom of the box. Up on it and give them a few minutes. We'll look for her again. Like I said, I already seen her, so I know she's in here. Got a few bees in the in the bee bags. We just gotta get them out while we can. So let's give them a few minutes. Let her get uh, back on the frame, and uh, we'll come back and see what's going on. All right, so let's try to find her again. She's trying to be the elusive queen. But hopefully, we've got her on a frame this go around. Nope. She's still skirting around the outside edge of the frame. I 
just seen her. Finally got her. She's in there somewhere. There we go. So now what we're going to do. Put this high face together. If I give a hive drone comb, I always like to put it in the middle. do is I'll put her right here where they can still get to the side of the queen clip. I'm gonna bend these wings in just a little bit so I can close this up good. They can still access that queen even with her in the clip like this. So there we go. Finally. So after editing the video and stuff, I found out or figured out that I never did a closing on this video. So we closed this uh, box up. We're going to leave the queen in the cage for a couple of days. And then we'll come back and let her out and uh, let her move on. And do what they got to do like i said at the beginning of this video is the beginning of uh, march march 10th i think is what it is so by now i've already let her out and uh just let them uh, do their thing and giving them time to fill up that nuke box and then i'll move them up to a 10 frame box so thanks for watching if you got any questions leave them in the comments below well if you made it this far i'd like to say thank you for watching my video if you're new to the channel and not a subscriber i invite you to hit the subscribe button uh, and hit the little bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notifications of all the new videos we're putting up. Over here are some videos that I also think you would like. So go ahead and click on one of them and continue watching. I do appreciate y'all watching. And as always, we'll see you on the next one.